Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to do a little cooking today. It is my husband's birthday and he has opted out of wanting to go anywhere for his birthday, which is his prerogative, I guess. Um, he's not much of a dessert guy. Like he, he's not much for like cakes, you know, sweets in general. Um, his favorite, uh, dessert, I guess, he likes cookies and he likes brownies, things like that. Um, but I think his favorite dessert is apple pie. And so I have decided today that I'm gonna make a homemade apple pie. Um, if you're following my pregnancy journey, then you know that food has been a struggle for me. Um, that also means that cooking has really been a struggle for me. Um, I mentioned on here briefly before, I don't, I don't know what's going to become of it now because from what I understand, Instagram is getting rid of whatever that is, IGTV or, you know, whatever that is. Um, but I actually have some cooking videos on an account. It's under Time Loved Cooking. I just really enjoy cooking. Um, so it's been a real bummer for me that... I'm just, I'm just not on my A-game with cooking. The same thing happened to me when I was pregnant with my daughter for different reasons than this pregnancy. Um, but, I don't know, it's just a struggle. But we're gonna give an honest effort today. So basically what I'm doing right now, sorry, you really can't see my cutting board, but basically what I'm doing right now is I'm peeling the apple Kind of. And you could save your apple skins. And normally I make a much better effort at being very scrappy with my cooking. I, um, I'm normally very, very good at not wasting. As I said, things have been a struggle for me right now. So I'm just not bothered by that at the moment. Um, but what you could do is save your apple skins. You can make tea with it. Um, what do I normally do? I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. You can do tea. Um, it's usually like infusing is whatever I do with it. Sometimes apple cider vinegar, something like that. Um, so anyway, I just peel it like so, and I'm just getting rid of, I'm getting rid of everything right now. Um, makes me feel wasteful, but anyway, and then I cut off the sides. And then I, you're left with this. I'm getting rid of that. And then I just slice them into little slices like that. I'm putting them in a bowl and I just have some lime juice like this. I'm just putting that in there. Um, normally it's lemon juice. I feel like citrus juice in general is gonna work. Just helps keep the apples from, from browning. Um, so anyway, hang tight. I'm going to finish these apples and we'll be back to cook them. Okay, so my little one's up from her nap. So we'll see how the rest of this video goes. But I'm going to zest an orange, or zest an orange, zest a lemon. Oh, it smells so good. Into this skillet. I am following a recipe for measurements over here. Um, I have made this before. I don't know if it was this particular um, one or not recipe or not. I don't know. Let's say that's good. Let's say that's good. Now we're gonna go in with the lemon. that and I have these apples it says for five pounds I don't know if this is five pounds or not we're gonna get this going now. this might be a little extra citrusy since I had these set in lime juice okay so we've got our apples in our skillet so for starters I know we need three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar Okay, one, two, three, 
three. We need three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. One, two, three. Okay. And that's gonna get our syrup going. The flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Salt. Five tablespoons of flour. Seems kind of a lot to me, but that's me. That's why I'm following a recipe for these measurements. That's a half. Okay, that was a mess. There's a hole. And we'll just let any of this excess fall in there. What the hay? Three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I love nutmeg. I'm just gonna eyeball that with a full teaspoon. And then a half teaspoon of cardamom. I have to find that. Okay, here's our cardamom. Oh, that smells good. All right, is that all? Okay, everybody, let's see. I wanna try to fix this to where you can see what I'm doing, but I have two store-bought crust here. I'm just unrolling. Um, and I've got my pie pan. So I'm just gonna press this pie crust down in here. And I don't know if I would really anger uh, professionals or my ancestors, but I do not, I do not cut any crust off. My favorite part of a pie is the crust. I don't, it seems silly because honestly, I don't even know right now if I can eat the crust. But this is the way that I make pies. Okay, so we have this beautiful. I am going to try to lattice. I don't normally lattice. <laughs> We're going to try to lattice, but let me get my apples and get them in here. This is going to take a second. First, I want to show you my apples. They turned out good. This yummy syrup in here. It doesn't smell very sweet, which might honestly perfect be perfect for my strange husband who doesn't like sweets. It's a very full pie. We have no room to cut crust. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can lattice. Okay, and this was a one-shot deal because I only had one set of pie crust left. Ow. I'm gonna pinch everything together. Okay, such as it is, there it is. Okay, so now I have one egg and some milk here that I've whisked together and I'm going to just brush it on and with that I'm going to give it ooh, a little dusting of cinnamon and sugar on the top And now I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. It's, I don't know, it looks okay, I guess. And 
Normally I don't have trouble with my pies spilling over because of the way that I do my crust, but that was very open and gappy. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I do have a pan under the pie. Here is the final result of the pie. It looks burned, but it's not, it's the cinnamon. Um, and then we did have like spillage, which is really unfortunate. This is not anywhere close to being as pretty as like my normal pies are. I think, I think we're done with the lattice. I think we're done with that. But anyway, there is my pie.